four pieces of advice. So I think uh, as a jazz musician, the more I learn about music, the more I realize that there, th there's no such thing as I'm just gonna learn my part. You have to know everybody's part. You have to know how the whole band works together. And, um, and that means the piano, at least the role of the bass, if not the bass itself, at least the role of the drums, if not the role of uh, the drum, drums themselves, but the drums themselves. And, you know, the, everything is important. There's so much to, to know. So the history of the music, the history of your instrument, um, uh, the detail of the harmony of every song that you learn, uh, d different styles, uh, the, the players from different styles. I mean, there's just so much to know. So, so it can really be overwhelming. But um, I think the, the players who reach the highest level um, are the ones who have a holistic view of what's going on in the band. And so taking that approach from the beginning will be very beneficial. And um, it's more important to know some things very deeply than it is to know a lot of things kind of on a surface level. And, um, and so that would, be, uh, that would be one piece of advice, is just to, it's, if you're a, it doesn't matter what instrument you play, you need to understand the role and the parts that everybody else in the band is playing on on every piece of music that you're that you're learning. Uh, and number two is I, I don't I don't know how to phrase this other than to say. Um, with that said, it's easy to to um, uh, to lose sight of the fact that there's more there is more to life than just music, and you need to have a balanced life and you, to, to be able to, to stay healthy. And it takes a long time to become a great artist. Um, and ideally, you wanna be able to have a long career. And the only way that you can do that is if you're a healthy person. And, um, and so taking care of yourself, having other aspects to your life than just your practice and your performance, and also uh, just realizing that there's more to you than the musician. Like sometimes, because we, we spend so much time practicing and listening to music and hanging out with musicians and so on, it can, it, it can, get, it can be hard to separate like, yourself from what you do. Um, and that's unhealthy or it can be unhealthy. Um, so trying to uh, still have a balanced life. Um, what, like, well, like one thing that I can say from my own experience that was unhealthy, when I was playing trumpet, I felt like I had to play a certain number of hours every single day, like no days off. Yeah. Um, and that's just, that's, first of all, it's wrong. It's not, it's not necessary to do it every single day. You can take off a day uh -huh. every week, you yeah. know, and still be fine. Uh -huh. uh, and there's a lot of stuff that you can do away from your instrument uh, that is just as valuable or uh, in some instances more valuable than just practicing. Um, uh, and so, and, and listening would be w one of those things. Oh, yeah. And practicing other instruments would be another thing. And then just having some time away from all of it. Um, because, you know, your subconscious mind is always at work. And having time when you're just, like, just chilling out, it, it actually gives your subconscious mind a chance to um, internalize and process all the stuff that you've been working on anyway. I don't know how many pieces of advice that is. <laughs> I, I think that was two to three. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want any more? Or? Uh, if you got, if you got more, sure. Um.